Charles Darwin was born in 1809 and died in 1882 at the age of 73. He is best known for discovering what would be the cornerstone of modern biology, that is, the theory of evolution through natural selection and genetic drift. He was born at his family's home in Shrewsbury, England, and though his father Robert Darwin was quietly a freethinker, he had the infant Charles baptized in the Anglican Church. At the age of 16, Darwin attended the University of Edinburgh Medical School, though he found the lectures boring. He preferred riding horses and shooting to studying. Several years later, Darwin was inspired by the works of William Paley, best known for his natural theology, and John Herschel, a polymath, who studied natural philosophy. Another influence on Darwin was Alexander von Humboldt, who wrote his scientific, of his scientific travels. Apparently, these three men made Darwin zealous to contribute design, to science. As a consequence, on December 27, 1831, at the age of 22, history was beginning a new chapter. The HMS Beagle set sail for South America, then traveled west to Australia, and finally returning to England after a five-year voyage. Despite suffering seasickness, Darwin took every opportunity to collect fossils and study geology, taking notes whenever they were under sail. When the ship reached England, Darwin was already celebrated in the scientific community. Initially, Darwin was more interested in geology and made the acquaintance of an important Scottish geologist, Charles Lyell. This interest was combined with taxonomy when he was introduced to Richard Owen, an English biologist. One of Darwin's most important discoveries on the Beagle was what is called Darwin's finches that was likely the impetus on his journey to explain evolution. While Charles Darwin was studying transmutation, he became mired in work that led him to being ill with stomach and heart problems that stayed with him throughout his life. It was concluded by his friends and colleagues that he needed to take some time to rest, and Darwin lived in the countryside with his relatives at Mayor Hall in Staffordshire. While there, he met his cultured and intelligent cousin, Emma Wedgwood, whom he would marry in 1839. Around this time, he had gathered enough information to begin the framework on the theory of evolution. By 1858, Darwin had nearly completed his theory of evolution. The following year, he published his book, On the Origin of Species. The 1,250 copies were sold out quickly, and demand for more copies followed. His book would go down in history as one of the most important works in the history of science, laying the foundation for all of modern biology. He died in 1882 as a celebrated scientist. Darwin's last words were to his wife, Emma. I am not the least afraid of death. Remember what a good wife you have been to me. Tell all my children to remember how good they have been to me. It was decided that Charles Darwin would be buried in Westminster Abbey, close to John Herschel and Isaac Newton.